to another video and as you guys saw by the title, we are doing the Never Have I Ever Challenge. So Megan is going to be looking up some Never Have I Ever questions and we are going to be flipping back and forth and maybe surprise each other. Never have I ever had to run to save my life. What? <laughs> So anyways, me and Ali were walking down the street. It was almost nighttime. We were meeting our friend at the dairy bar. Anyways, we heard this like little laughter in the background and we were like, oh, what's that? And then we heard it again and then we were like, oh, it's probably coyotes. But then it kept getting closer and then it was like really scary and then all of a sudden it started chasing us and then we had to run down the street and it was like creepy laughter and it was like, ha! Ah! And then it was like screaming, but laughter, kind of weird. So anyways, we get to my house. Shh, we're just bolting down the street. Anyways, we get to my house and we bust through the door and my dad's like, what happened? And then it was scary. So I guess you could change. I never ran that fast in my life. So. so weird. Never have I ever cheated on a spelling test. <laughs> we both have? Barely. I was freaking out because I've never gotten like less than a 10 out of 10 when I was in second grade and I forgot how to spell beautiful and so I was like freaking out. I, I still like, can't oh. spell beautiful. <laughs> and so, and then I was kind of looking around but I don't think I ever, I still got it wrong. I don't think I ever got it figured out. That's not cheating. I was trying to. Oh. I was like, oh, yeah, you were trying. I actually did. It was first Sad. grade. In first grade, I was freaking out about a spelling test because I'm really bad at them. So I took the answers and I put them under my desk and I read them. I'm like, Sad. but okay, the worst part is I kept that for years and it was like eating away at me like so bad. And I finally told my mom like five years later. What did she say? And then she was like, it's a little late now for you to apologize, but you're just gonna have to like know that you never did. Like, obviously I wasn't gonna do it again. It was awful. I'm so mad I did it. Like, anyway. Never have I ever broken something at a friend's house and not told them? Wait, I gotta think about this. <laughs> I think I'm gonna say never. Never have I ever gotten stitches. On a fireplace on my forehead and cut it open. <laughs> Wait, you cut your forehead open too? Yep. Where? There. I, my... I fell on a vacuum when I was two. <laughs> <laughs> I still have a scar, actually. You yeah, see that? My scar's you see... been showing up recently, and I don't know why. You see that um, non-hair spot on my eyebrow? <laughs> <laughs> I've had that since I was two years old because I fell down the stairs and hit my head on a vacuum cleaner, and then I had to be rushed to the hospital because I got stitches. That was fun. Um, never have I ever hitchhiked. Let <laughs> <laughs> me think about the same thing. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> well, we kind of hitchhiked together. And then got pulled over. Well, <laughs> it was kind of, was it cold? No, it wasn't cold, we just, no, it was hot. It was super hot. It was hot. super hot and we didn't want to walk home. So everyone had left school and we really needed a ride. So and like, people one... just asked people for rides at our school. So there was only one kid left. We were not kind of friends. I mean, I wasn't, but. Was not, it was Allie. Allie's friend. Our, our friend Allie was friends with this guy. We were like, this can we bad. have a ride? And well, we didn't realize he didn't have a back seat, so he's like, yeah, sure. So he opens the back of his truck and we get in the back of his truck and yeah. there's a dead we squirrel. Expected him to, we expected him to let us get back in like the, the back seat of the car, but he didn't let us. And so we had to sit in, in the, the trunk of the of the truck. truck oh, house. I just know, I had just turned 16, because it was at the end of the year. I had just turned 16, you guys were 15, and apparently it's illegal to drive with someone who is under 16 in the back of their car. So when they saw us, they obviously somehow assumed well, we that we were 16. Front. I was kind of scared, I was like, mm, this is kind of shady, but it's only like around the corner, so whatever. So we pulled out, and then I turned, and the police, there's a police, we pulled out in front of the police, and I was like, officer. shoot, and, I, and then I was like, crap, just like, don't look at them, don't make eye contact with them. Then the lights go on, so yeah, we got pulled over, pulled over. and then, um, he was like, how old are you guys, and Sarah was like 16, and I was like 15, and Allie, Allie, Allie said 16, Allie was I just 14 at the that. time, she was 14 at the time, she but was, she just lied to the police, and I like, said, looked at her, and I was like, what are you doing? You don't so, do that, and then we literally were so confused what to do, because I think the cops were new or something, because we'd never seen them before. Yeah, so and, then we had to get out of the car and walk. And we were, well no, the funny thing is though, we literally just stepped out of the car, we were waiting on the sidewalk for a couple minutes, and they're like, okay, we really need to get home. We just walked home. So we just we left literally the kid. just left. <laughs> and now that I think about that, that was so stupid, but like, how did we not get in trouble for that? Why didn't the cops stop us or something? 
We literally just left. I know, yeah. We kind of just got out of the car. The Dude, cops went back to the car to like get a ticket or something for the driver that was driving us. Yeah. And we just kind of stepped out of the car while they were doing that. And then we just like... We were honestly like... Yeah, we just kind of left, and I have no idea if he got in trouble or not. Oh my gosh. Or have I ever chipped a tooth? I have a chip in my buck tooth. In your buck tooth? Yep, <laughs> my buck tooth. <laughs> That's my buck tooth. <laughs> yeah. I was stupid. I was a kid. I was literally driving a longboard, which is a skateboard, inside, because no one was in the building. It was like my mom's office, and no one was there. So I was in, I was on the bottom floor just driving around. I decided to sit down for some reason. And I had my feet like hanging out, but I accidentally dropped them down and I was wearing grippy shoes. They stopped it. I flew forward and I hit my face on the concrete and I chipped a tooth. I busted my lip open and I bruised my nose like really bad. Ew. Yeah, it sucked. And the funniest part is though, years, like years ago, the day before orientation for school, my chip it came out so my buck tooth i had nothing there it looked so <laughs> stupid and i was like mom i'm not going tomorrow unless i can get into the thing right now and fill this <laughs> i was like oh my gosh like you can't even tell but if i didn't have that i would look so stupid or have i ever been in an embarrassing video that was uploaded to youtube <laughs> the catapult challenge no don't bring that up Get, get in the way. She made me do the catapult challenge. No <laughs> have I ever peed in the shower? <laughs> yep, everyone has, I feel like. Okay guys, last one I got is, never have I ever faked a sickness to get out of school. <laughs> you haven't? No. Really? I haven't done no. it recently. I did it when I was younger. Like, I would go to the nurse's office and like, okay, to be honest, it my stomach did hurt a little bit, yeah. but I made a huge deal out of it just so I could go home. <laughs> oh, Sarah. If you guys answered any of these questions differently, comment down below, because I'd love to see all you guys' stories. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Please come back, because I post every Saturday. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it. Also, guys, if you guys want to check out my friend Emily's channel, I will put a picture right there and a link down below. You guys should definitely check out her channel because it's really fun. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to spread happiness and have a great day.